Welcome to Take It Here Mini MBA. I'm DBC AKP. A conversation today will focus on capturing value as we execute in our business systems. Because uh, we are going towards the end of the first edition of the Kidia Mini MP. And over the next uh, few weeks, as we round up this section, I will be challenging us of the necessity of making sure that in the process of execution, that we are actually capturing enterprise value, even as we create value for customers. We've looked at innovation, we've looked at the necessity of building that construct of serving customer with new basis of competition, creating leverageable value that will help these customers to improve the efficiency in their utilization of factors of production, giving them the capacity that they can see higher level of productivity in their business systems. But as you do that, you ask yourself one question. I have created value for these customers. I have fees their frictions. I am also capturing value for my fan. Am I also capturing value in my own business? Am I seeing a very quantifiable value in our enterprise? It's not about fixing the frictions of market system. It's not about making things better for customers. It's also about how do I capture value when I do that? Because if you cannot capture value, you will not be tomorrow to continue to serve those customers. So execution is key, but execution that makes it possible that you can capture value as you are facing the friction that exist in the marketplace is even very strategic. We look at innovation, we look at growth. Today is all about execution. We have to get to that level of making these customers to become in that moment of fandom because we have made things that they truly love. And because we have made those things they truly love, they will come to use our products and services. I want to tell you something with a company called Sky. It makes it possible for people to make phone calls locally, internationally, largely free. Let's say, for instance, you want to make a phone call from Lagos to New York City. You go to Sky. You've just loaded your broadband, maybe, with equivalent of $20. You launch your Skype, you begin to make that phone call. That is a propensity that if you have to speak for one hour on that Skype call, you might have spent just about maybe a dollar equivalent. But if you have made that call through your direct MTM line, for instance, you might have spent maybe $40. What has happened here? You have used Skype indirectly, you spent $1. But a direct phone call with MTN might have cost you $40. I would say that $39 had essentially been destroyed, not necessarily at your own angle, but at the level of enterprise. Skype did not capture that $39. And of course, MTN itself lost that $39 you would have paid if you had made that call directly. So the implication here is Skype has helped you to save $39, but Skype itself has not made any money. And that is the reason why companies like Skype most times struggle, because they make their, their customers better, but they have struggled to find a way to capture value for themselves. So that's the reason why Skype has been moving from one owner to the other. And today I think it's resting with Microsoft. It has not figured out how it can make money by itself. It has not become something that can say, I will generate that offer. Because it knows how to destroy value. It knows how to transfer value. It knows how to decimate value. But it does not know how to capture value for itself. When it was launched many years ago in Europe, it decimated many telecommunication companies. But at the end of the day, Skype itself did not even feel better because he has struggled to find a way to capture value. So my point today is that as you create a value for customers, as you move them, serving them from the needs, expectation, or perception, 
you must find the mechanism that you have to capture value in whatever you are doing because if you cannot capture value you are going to be in trouble mtn as a great company they know how we can capture value you know as much as skype might have decimated they are earning value they can always use volume to make up and even if they are getting a dollar from that transaction by the time you put millions of people you see companies like mtn can be fine but the challenge, if you do not have that capacity to have very huge customer base, your business model begins to struggle. So how do you capture value? I'll take you back to the week two of our mini MBA, where we look at the one OAC strategy. The one OAC strategy is, is our strategic framework that I put forward. And I made it clear that if you are working, especially in the digital platforms, that one of the best things to do is to look at your real category came product the most important product in that enterprise and see how you can make it the very best because if you can keep it to become and remain the very best you can leverage on it to do many things in that industry if you go to amazon the best product in amazon the amazon e-commerce that's what everyone knows amazon but Amazon itself does not necessarily make tons of money through Amazon e-commerce in terms of margin. So what does Amazon do? Amazon has what we've called the, the, the double play, Amazon Web Services. That's where it makes money. The cloud computing unit of Amazon is a, one of the most profitable units in Amazon. So but Amazon to make the one oasis, which is the Amazon e-commerce, Amazon has to invent the AWS making sure that the amazon e-commerce remains the very best in the world remains the very best in america and by making it the very best he made it possible that he can position himself in that market system and continue to take market positioning that even as it ravages malls and physical stores as they are transitioning back into the digital space it is creating opportunity for the aws so it's a way I can lose margin by making my products fairly affordable for people to shop online. But as I do that, there is a propensity that many physical stores will struggle. And if they are coming to the digital space, my company is one of the most positioned to capture the value that I have created through that transfer that is happening from the physical to the digital. So. Amazon would not have been a great company if it didn't have the AWS. Because what would have happened is that Amazon would still struggle with creating this great value for customers through the e-commerce business without necessarily figuring out a way it can capture value as the dislocation is happening. Because it doesn't really have great margins in the e-commerce business. The OSC is the best part of a business. Like you go back to the, old, to the desert. You see the oasis is a place where the merchants is a place where the people that live there in go to draw life in your business there is an oasis inside our desert that's that business unit that gives life to every inhabitant of that business you need to nurture your oasis you need to make sure it has a capacity that he can feed and do great things in that enterprise we have the same thing with samsung electronics it gives it a Galaxy series. Provided the Galaxy series does well, Samsung doesn't really care what is happening. Because it will capture value through the Samsung electronics. That's the reason whenever Apple does well, Samsung does well. Because the best customer for Samsung today is Apple. Because Samsung makes the electronic unit, the microprocessor that Apple uses in some of his great products. In other words, Samsung can invest all the money it wants to invest in Samsung Electronics because the risk has been taken care by Samsung Galaxy. But even if it does not make money through Samsung Galaxy, he knows that he has created a double play that Apple will come for the best possible microfabrication facility in the world that enables it to become a major customer to Apple for making a microprocessor that I use in iPhone and iPad. Samsung will not have get into that position without a galaxy so galaxy doesn't need to make money but galaxy needs to give samsung the opportunity to break even 
so that he can take risk on building the next fabrication facility in the world, that he can meet the needs of great customers like Apple. Alibaba may not even ask you to pay anything, but you have to use Alipay because the value in Alibaba is captured through Alipay. That is what we call using the one oasis and plugging in the double place. That is how value could be destroyed in one sector of your business, but value is captured in other units of your business. And you will see the same thing in great companies like Dangote. The trucking unit of Dangote powers most things that are done in Dangote Group. You cannot create value for customers without figuring out how you can capture value. And because we know that the opportunities are evolving, there are going to be great shifts as a result of COVID-19 pandemic. We have seen these, that we are going to see remote everything, remote work, remote school, remote clinic, remote sales unit. But as you do this, as you do this, make sure that you capture value. There will be a shift in the behavior of customers. But what will not be shifted is the necessity for you to capture value. Digitization and migration to the cloud. Payment systems, most things are moving to the web. But you need to capture value. Hybridization of, of supply chain. We will see companies trying to be flexible, adapting, making sure that they can have a concatenation of the global supply chain as well as local supply chain. And also see semi, semi automation in our business processes and systems. If you are working in these domains, if you are serving customers in this domain, or even you yourself is going through this redesign in your company, the key thing is execution. But that execution must look that you must discover that moment how value will be created in that enterprise. Life tell people it's not just waking up in the morning and, and you say, I want to turn these consumers to customers. And I want to turn this customer to fans because I'm going to give them the very personal product. You can turn them into the moment of fandom. But if that value is not captured, bad things will happen. See yourself as an operating system. You have learn so much through the firmware the firmware is the is a software that when you power on your so your your laptop or your or your phone there is a software from the microprocessor that makes it possible that that system can come up it comes from the guys that have built and created the electronics inside that phone or that laptop the the, the firmware today is the new knowledge base it's a new talent system these are some of the things we have studied. See, some of the things we have mastered throughout this process of the mini MD. But now when that laptop books up, it goes into the, another phase called the operating system. The operating system is like your Windows, it's like Linux, and then it's like your Android, it's like iOS. We say there is an opportunity to create a new basis where you become the category king, that you can transform that category and become a dominant leader. When I say a dominant leader, what I mean here, you need to have the capacity to build a moat around the castle, as we have explained in this program. Because when you can build and protect the castle from the flanks, you become that empire upon which the ordinance of that market category will run upon. And when you do that, the apps which now run on that operating system, you can see so many things running in your, in your smartphone, running on your laptop, your Microsoft Office, your Microsoft, uh, uh, your Skype, your, your, your Zoom, all those things are the apps. And here you could look at logistics, e-commerce, agro-services. These things are now going to run. How can your company support those industries? How can your company support those sectors? Ask yourself, what is it that you are doing? How can you unlock new growth vistas in there? They said that growth physics most problem in companies because when a company is growing, everyone is a star. And that means the CEOs, they become legends because they are growing. The board is happy. The staff, everyone enjoys. I tell you, but as we do that, make sure we capture value. I will be emphasizing the necessity of capturing value because I have seen across most parts of Africa, people do great things, but at the end, they don't know how to capture value. You are listening. 
Mitekidia, mini ya bia. Amdu kisi ya kebwe.